Hey, happy Friday and get ready for a virtual good time with the Friday Funnies. You know, we're only 19 days away from electing, electing the next creepy clown to run our country. And the race is heating up. You know, the final, thank God, the final uh, debate took place this week. And there was usual sniping and name calling and innuendos. It was kind of like Thanksgiving dinner without the food. In sports, half of the World Series slate was filled this week when the Cleveland Indians captured the American League pennant. Meanwhile, many nervous Cub fans wait to see if they will have a chance to break their 108-year-old dry spell. I gotta tell you, I live in Chicago, but I'm rooting for Cleveland if this one happens because number one, I was born and raised there, and number two, I'm a Chicago White Sox fan. One thing I'm not a fan of is littering, and a Democratic National Convention campaign bus got caught doing it in a big way. The bus was spotted this week emptying the toilet of the bus into a storm sewer in Lawrenceville, Georgia. It's estimated that 50 gallons of political speeches were dumped. Well, a lot of other stuff is happening around the world this week, and that's where we're going to go. So fasten your seatbelt and follow me. Mohammed Bello Abu Bakar is 92 years old and he lives in Baida, Nigeria. Recently, a newspaper reported his death and he responded by saying that he was alive, healthy, and living with his 97 wives. Bello claims that he's on a mission from God to marry as many women as he can and so far he has married 107 of them. He divorced 10, which leaves him then with 97. The Muslim church said that the limit on wives is four, but Bello retorted, there's no limit mentioned in the Quran. Boom, make love, not war, baby. He hopes to marry a few more women before he really dies, undoubtedly with a smile on his face. A restaurant in Giyang, China, I believe that's a suburb of Wudang. Anyhow, they thought they had a great idea for a promotion. They called it Pay What You Want. Customers could order anything from the menu and pay any amount that they thought was fair. And in only one week, the restaurant lost over $15,000. The promotion was meant to challenge China's notorious lack of trust. And when the restaurant owners found out that, hey, they couldn't trust anybody, they changed the fortunes in the cookies from your future is bright to if you pay, you'll get the antidote. <laughs> As a touring comedian for a number of years, I thought I'd seen everything. You know, I've had things thrown at me, aimed at me, insults hurled at me, but I never got robbed of my pants. Ian Black is a Canadian comedian who appeared in a club in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And after the show, he and a friend were walking along the street when he was approached by two men who started punching him and demanding his pants. I guess they really liked them. Well, Ian and his friend fought back and he kept his pants, but the robbers ran away and one of them had his cell phone fall out of his trouser pocket and the police used it to track him down. I'm guessing that's why he needed the new pants in the first place. Well, that's it for another week, my friends. Have a great weekend and I will see you next Friday. Go Tribe.